the Parker Pen Company in San Francisco. I started work there in 1943 at age 14 as an errand boy, sweeping floors and other office work. Bill came to the Parker, Parker Pen Company in 1945, and he and Margie were living in were living at Park Merced at that time. Bill served as assistant sales manager for the 11 Western states for the That's Boring. Uh, Bill soon see it's all about my dad though that's the that's weird the, part. Well, that's the interesting. Bill thing. soon acquainted himself with a small Parker office staff of about forty people. He particular in particular he became friendly with me and somehow I learned more about me and my family background. In particular, finding out that my father had died three months before I was born and that my mother did not remarry. Over the next few years, he became a counselor and advisor to me at a very crucial time in my young life. He pushed me to finish high school and then pushed even harder for me to go to college against my personal wishes at the time. His intervention in my life just reflected his keen interest in young people, but in my case, his interest and concern radically changed my life. Because of my eventual lifelong involvement in, university, in universities after I received my PhD at Stanford, I was able to have some influence over the lives of many young people in the United States, and particularly in Peru, where I organized and started the first graduate business school in South America. Now it has grown into a university with over 7,000 students. I tell you this only to say none of this would have happened had it not been because of Bill Yockey and Margie. I would like to think his kindly hand eventually reached out in spirit to help so many very young people start so many very young people starting their life careers in the universities where I served as a faculty member and dean. Bill Yockey was a wonderful, thoughtful man who cared a lot for other people, including young people. His very early and tragic death due to a bee sting while sitting in his living room was a tragic loss. I salute Bill Yockey and Margie today for their, great, <laughs> their very great personal impact on me and, more importantly, through their indirect effect on a very large number of students here and abroad. Bill Yockey was a... No, never mind. One last a bee great, sting? Yeah, that's how he died. That's One horrible. last, I know, it's, it's a long story, I'll tell you about it in a minute. One last great no, grace note to this story. A few months after, this is the thing I wanted him to talk about. <laughs> a few months after Bill's death, I received a long and very touching letter from Margie enclosing a substantial cash gift. In her letter, she said that she and Bill had discussed such a gift to support final costs for my PhD degree at Stanford. Margie commented she wanted to honor Bill's wishes, hence the gift accompanying her letter. Thus, I offer a final bow to Margie for her touching thoughtfulness. On completing my doctoral study, I dedicated my thesis dissertation by writing a short eulogy to Bill Yockey, my only way to say a final thank you to a very fine man. Very awesome.